Hey everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. Now, this is just going to be a, a, a sort of lather building review, sort of a new soap, new brush, new type of hair that I haven't really used for a long time. So I just wanted to give it a bash. Now I have tried breaking this in and like I'm going to do this three days break-in thing. So I had it in the fridge all day yesterday, took it out, stropped the shit out of it on my towel, popped it back in the water and back in the fridge this morning. But I'm just going to give it a bit of a lather up and a bit of a face lather just to see how it feels. Now I haven't face lathered with this brush or a brush of this make or this type for a very long time. So the soap I'm going to be using today is Mama Bear's Pepperberry. Now the scent on this is absolutely stunning. It's just beautiful. It is a really warming, it's almost like a Christmassy sort of scent. It does have a sort of cinnamony spice going on in there and obviously the pepper berry and it's got that sweet berries almost tart sweet berries that I can't really pick exactly what's there but it's nice it's really really nice now it is a glycerin based so as you can see it's rock hard and it would probably last quite a long time now this was part of the amazing unboxing that I got from or the amazing mail call that I got from Grey Dog with the brushes and this brush in particular that I'm going to be doing this ladder with is one of the brushes that he actually well the brush that I I asked if he could make and pick the wood and everything like that and it's absolutely beautiful. Now the knot is like, I can't describe what it's like, it is literally like getting a thousand needles and scratching them all over your face. It is a horrible knot, but it is bore, so I'm not expecting it to feel absolutely gorgeous, but that is the knot itself. There is the brush. Now the handle is made from spalted maple which is basically just normal maple that's left to rot and what happens is all the black that's on this is actually it's where the wood has started to rot and then they dry it out quickly so that it doesn't actually affect the, the quality or the depth or the density of the wood so it still stays firm and it's just a lovely lovely piece of wood it really is it's beautiful now it's got I, I did say in my previous video it was a 30 mil knot because that's what he'd written down for me now it has since made me aware that it's a 27 mil knot and I think it was rhino I think that's how you pronounce it, Reno, Rhino, sorry mate, that actually picked up that Omega don't do a 13mm knot, they do a 27mm and this is the 27mm, but what Grey Dog was referring to is the actual collar, the black collar on here, the hole that you have to make for that is 30mm wide, so it's just to hold the collar, so let's have a little bash with it and just see how it goes, so this will be the first time I face lather with this brush, so dry glycerin based soap, damp brush, straight in. Now these board brushes are excellent for doing lathers with glycerin based soaps and triple milled soaps, really really hard soaps because they're such stiff bristles. Now I haven't done anything with this brush here, I've literally taken it out of the fridge, it was still freezing cold, not freezing obviously but very very cold chilled and I've just tipped the water out and then just straight into the soap really. I've so the water that's actually on the brush is cold. I'm not too fussed because I'm just going to be lathering up, washing it off and possibly doing a second lather just to get a bit of a feel for this brush and see how it feels considering I did run it on my face yesterday when it was wet. I didn't actually lather with it, but it wasn't comfortable at all. It was very, very uncomfortable to use. Head lather, if I had to use it for my head, yeah, I'd, I'd probably get pretty good lather out of it. I think it would be reasonably comfortable. Okay, so the brush is absolutely caked. So let's wet the face. Get stuck in. Now, like I say, I'm not shaving here. All I'm doing is basically using a knot that I haven't used for a very long time, just 100% bore bristle. I'm not quite sure where this grade of hair comes from off the bore, but I do know, and from what I've been reading, is that the Omega here is actually a lesser quality hair than the one from Simog, or generally that Simog use. So it'll be interesting to see once this breaks in how nice it is. There's quite a lot of people out there that really rate Simog bow, uh, Omega bows, and then there's those that rate the, the Simog bows. Now I did have the Simog Owners Club a long time ago now in Cherrywood, and the knot was absolutely brilliant. And I'm a little bit gutted actually that I let it go because I, I sort of fell out of favour with 
natural hair brushes um, went all synthetic, all synthetic, and then you come back to it a little bit, and then all of a sudden it becomes probably more interested in the sense that every single knot you get that's natural hair is different. It'll give you different properties. Even if you buy the same knot from the same batch of hair, it'll be a slightly different feeling knot. So it's a very unique thing. You know, I could this might turn out the best knot ever, and then you get the exact same knot from the same batch and the same handle, or maybe not the same handle, but the same batch, and your knot could be shit and never be any good. So it's, that's the sort of way it works. It's just nice that there's so much variety with a natural hairbrush than what you get from synthetic. You buy a tuxedo knot, you can buy a thousand of them, put them in a thousand brushes, and it'll be the same knot. Buy a natural hair knot, and you do get differences. They do, especially having a channel, a YouTube channel, they give me some sort of variety, something to keep me interested. Whereas if I was just shaving every day, I'd probably pick two or three brushes that I really enjoy and I'd just use them. This gives me a bit more variety. So I've already wet my face, I'll just dab in a little bit of water on there. And let's just see what it feels like. Now I've got a feeling that painting motion like this, I'm not really going to feel anything. I am feeling a slight scritch already, just from painting on, so I'm not looking forward to splaying this brush, but I'm going to go for it. Scent on the soap is lovely, it's really nice. Very warming scent. Which for us over in Western Australia just now, isn't too bad because the weather is starting to chill down now. So all I'm doing here is just painting it on and dipping the tips. And what I'm looking for is the same pretty much with every lather that I do in a face lather. It's for all the, the load that's on the face from the brush to go translucent so I can see pretty much through to my skin all over. And it should work similar to a synthetic. It never works exactly like it does with a synthetic because I have more control with a synthetic. Yeah, this is really scrubby, really scritchy. As you can see, it's taking a lot of water. Oh. Don't recommend that, but I tell you what, that's the best tasting soap I've ever tasted. <laughs> it's really sweet. It's really sweet soap. It's funny because the glycerin soap actually looks a bit like a massive boiled candy. slowly getting there. I'm still dipping the tips yet, so I'm still adding more water. Chucking the lather everywhere. The reason I'm sort of doing this today is I just want to help assist in breaking the, the knot in a little bit more. Right, I'm going in for the killer move now. As you can see, it's it's pretty translucent. It's not as translucent as normal, but let's just see how it goes. Oh, Jesus. That is absolute torture. How's the ladder? The ladder seems to be building quite well. Oh, Jesus fuck. Now you're going to see when I'm done here and I rinse my face off. Just how scritchy this knot is. It, this is excruciating almost. <laughs> this is worse than going against the grain for me. But it's making an amazing ladder. And I know the soap's got a lot to do with that.
Jesus. Yeah, that's over the top, Scritchy. Like, we need to be a madman to enjoy that. How's the results? Pretty damn good. Yeah, I can't argue with the lather. The lather quality is great. It, it builds a great lather, so it's got the potential there to be an excellent knot. But my skin right now is on fire. And it's not the stuff to do with the silk. It's literally brush burn. Yeah, so it's nothing nothing to do with the soap. I haven't had a reaction to the soap, I don't think, but I can tell you right now, I can even see how red my cheeks are. And even under here, you can see the redness down under here. It's quite easily, um, by a long shot, the most uncomfortable knot I have ever used to face ladder with. Now, I know these knots do break in very, very soft because there's a lot of guys on YouTube, a lot of guys on the on Facebook, a lot of guys that really rate this knot. Spencer's another one, I think Spencer's got a couple of Omega knots that he really enjoys. Now, it'll really have to get to the point of like a badger, like a silver tip or something like that for me to enjoy face lathering with a knot like that. In my opinion so far, just using this, I would say in terms of the Samog Boja, the Caravella knot, the one that's 50% badger, 50% boa, this is about 10 times to 20 times more uncomfortable and scritchy than that was the first time I used that. So it gives you a bit of an idea, a bit of a gauge. So that's the knot there that I've just flipped the, the water out. So you can see the tips. Now, because I've worked on it for the last day and a bit, the tips have actually started to split quite quite considerably. And all these little clumps of hair that you're seeing where they're all sort of joining together is pretty much, I believe, where all the, all the hair tips have actually started splitting. So I've got to that point where they're splitting, but it's just not comfortable at all. It really isn't. In fact, it's extremely uncomfortable. But once again, it gives you a bit of an idea, at least if you've never used a bore brush before. I mean, in my personal opinion, those type of soaps are the best for it. Glycerin based soaps, triple milled soaps, anything that's quite hard. They still work phenomenally well with any other type of soap, but just for those ones, you can really dig them in and cr crunch those tips into the soap to try and assist in the, the breaking in process. But even just running that over my fingers and just pushing in a little bit is so needle-like. You know, it's like a bunch of needles jagging on the fingers. It's very uncomfortable. Now, the other note that I've got is the Magard 7030 mix. And once again, it's quite a scritchy knot. It's quite surprising. It's way more scritchy than the one that I had from that darn Rob, the AP Shave Co. And I believe they're probably most likely the same knot, so it might just have been a little bit of luck with it. Now, Spencer did say that he thought the AP Shave Co knot was extremely scritchy. I didn't find that. I found it scrubby, not scritchy, so it's just a strange one. This, on the other hand, is just, oh, it's almost like torturing yourself. If this was the only brush you had, you'd probably never use the fucking thing. It would, You'd, you'd spend the whole month just breaking it in first before you actually use it because it's just uncomfortable to use. Just at the end of the day, it is. It's a lovely looking brush. It's got a bit, really starting to splay out a bit now that I've worked on it for the last sort of 36 hours. And yeah, like I say, that the other knot that I got there was a the horse here. Now, I haven't used that yet, but I know that's got to be nice because even when it's dry, it's soft on my face, on my skin. Uh, when it's wet, I did give it a bit of a, a bit of a scrub on there. 
just to feel what it was like just having the wet brush on the skin and it felt lovely so I, I'm not too worried about that one I think that one will pass with flying colours I'll just give you a look at this soap oh it smells great so it literally just looks like a big massive boiled candy boiled sweet, boiled lolly or wherever you come from you know pick the word that works best for you but anyway that was the Omega 27mm the Omega Pro Knot so you can buy these in a plastic handle for about I have a so cheap about 15 bucks, 20 bucks, something like that, maybe even less than that, 10 bucks. And it was removed and placed into this beautiful wooden handle by Grey Dog, which he hand turned. And let's see, I've got four other brushes now, or three other wooden handle brushes to sort of help or try and break in. I'm looking forward to breaking this in. I do have another bore on the way, which hopefully won't require quite as much. I've heard it's quite soft and it's not really got much scritch to it, so I'm hoping that is so. This one, however, is going to take quite a bit of beating the shit out of to get to the right level so I hope you guys got something out of that like I say what I'm doing with this is I'm popping it straight back in this cup it'll go in like that and then fill it up to the, the collar with cold water chuck it in the fridge and I'll leave it overnight and I'll tackle it again tomorrow roughly the same time but 24 hours time from now and I'll tackle it again and get it back out brush it again and then I'll do it one more night so that'll be three nights that'll be left in the fridge in the cold and um, I'll see how it feels and Hopefully I'll be able to use it on Monday for my shave, but as of now, I couldn't complete a three-pass shave with this knot, I don't think. My skin is quite raw, actually, just from that brush. So that's without any razor blade or anything on there, so yes, yeah, it's, it's not a comfortable knot to use. But I'm not saying don't buy one, because you guys out there that use them, swear by them, they do break in. It is a bow knot, so you have to persevere with them. I don't have the best of patience, but I'm going to give this one a real good crack. And other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be having a shave probably definitely tomorrow. I'm working tomorrow but 5.45 in the afternoon. So I will be using most likely. I might use the horsehair brush. I might use a cashmere. Or I might even use the, the mix knot. The My Guard mix knot. I'm not 100% sure yet. But I'll, I'll have something like that. And most likely I might give this a bash as well. And just see how I go. But it's a really beautiful scented soap. It makes a great lather as you just sort of stick, it's dense. It's light, it's not a, a, a heavy, heavy lather like you get from Holy Co and Grooming Department and Barrister Man, those sort of heavy double cream, double thickened cream sort of consistency. Glycerin based soaps make a lighter, it's still a dense, it's not an airy lather, but it's, it's still dense, but it's a lot lighter. It's almost like a whipped cream rather than a double cream sort of consistency or yoghurt, it's like whipped cream and yoghurt so it's, it's sort of how it feels but it's really slick, I was washing it off my face here quite a bit to get it off so I'm looking forward to using it and other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed that so stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive and I'll catch you guys in the next video, cheers